Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Towns. When we last left off I failed to uh, decipher my own comments, or well, your comments that I had written down. And we had a food merchant. So let's see what he has to say uh, for sale. He has sugarcane, which is uh, pretty boring. He has raw fish, which he has bananas. We do want those. I also want cactus fruits, snow cherries, cave mushrooms, and that's pretty much it. Great, so now we can actually build the uh, stuff I always wanted to build. Mostly the banana farm. I'm going to sell some of this bread. Uh, 11 units should do, so all this flour is, get, uh, is getting used up. I'm also going to sell like 5 cakes and anything else I want to sell. Not really. Okay, go for it. And now, before we uh, mess that up, let's assign it for planting. Uh, I want cactus fruits over here. This is seems on snow, so I want snow cherries on here. And I want cave mushrooms on here. Okay. So we finally got the things we need for our uh, last plantations. So I just uh, decided to do something nearby. I did think it wasn't mine. Yeah, it wasn't my phone. Let's see if the 3D mouse because it really bothers me at some point. We also uh, built this wonderful bridge. And the caravan has left the town already. And there we go with some of our farming. We finally have bananas. Isn't that wonderful, people? We finally got the bananas. And we finally got uh, cactus fruits, snow cherries, and mushrooms. So uh, now we officially have all the food we can ever have, or all the food variety we can ever have. I want that though. Um, did I tell them to put flour in here? No sugar, it can have that. I would like you to put that in here. Okay. No idea why it wouldn't be placed in here. I guess our carriers are busy doing things, like uh, carrying all those weapons over. Okay, this looks a bit weird, but I'll go with it. I should also move it, or at least move this field here, because now it... I don't know, it kind of looks silly. Anyway, it is built now, so that's how it should be. By the way, I'm <laughs> I had a bit of fun with uh, well, that's a, that's a large cactus. Um, I had a bit of fun with my friends lately. Uh, started replying in text with "so be it" instead of "yes." Uh, they were looking at me a bit strange, but it was fun. I'm probably going to do that again. It was still better than uh, replying with this "so it was written." Which I suppose would have really thrown them off. Okay, let's uh, make sure those fields are filled uh, automatically. So I want five of those, five of those, five of those. And of course, five bananas. No, well, ten bananas. Uh, it also reminds me of this uh, Despicable Me movies, which I absolutely love. 
Well, there is not much else to say about it. I, I just love them. I know they were a bit cheesy at some points. And a bit, I guess, slapsticky, but I, I love them. <laughs> they were just awesome. And thanks for placing that flower right where I wanted to build my street. Jerk. <coughs> but the street itself is making good progress. Or we are making progress on the street, I don't know. And also it drops the happiness because we have a lot of work going on here. And look at those cacti. Uh, note that I didn't say cactuses because I think the proper form is cacti. Even though I never had Latin, I do think I recall something like that. Can we place that cave mushroom? Yes. Great. I don't know what to say about it, I'm just happy we finally have all the food we could ever want. Well, almost. Um, I, I must be honest, I never thought I could actually do that, but uh, with the possibility to terraform being added to the game, uh, we finally had a good chance to actually have all the other food. So. Build that here. Unlock that mill and hope it will actually be transferred. I will now build two, three, four, five, six other mills here in the hope that this one is actually going to be moved. I do hope we did it in the right order. So. Uh, we unlocked it first and then assigned it to be built somewhere else and it was moved. There it was and now we should use that space we just freed up for another road. There we go. Okay. I don't know how much uh, longer this lasts and if, uh, or how much, or how long this food will last us. Um, never bothered looking into calculations and something like that, or looking into which uh, way of, uh, or which crop is the most efficient, which grows fastest, and which uh, makes most food per per unit. So. I don't know if you ever did those calculations, feel free to share them here. Did you just overwrite my road tile? You frickin' jerks. Okay, we are pretty much out of apples here. <laughs> Mostly because I uh, did up uh, the amount of pear pie I wanted to have. God, now I'm hungry again. It's one of those really bad side effects of... Um, Oh, look at that cherry tree. It's an eternal blossom, it seems. <coughs> um, where was I? Yeah, it's, it's one of those uh, side effects that talking about food has on you. I do end up getting hungry. I think it's the same for everyone. If you talk about food, especially about things that you might enjoy yourself, that you think tastes pretty awesome, you end up getting hungry. Um, it's also... I don't know, I had that habit of sleeping, or when I was younger I had a TV in my room, and I had that habit of sleeping in pretty long on Saturdays. And every time I woke up on Saturday there was a, um, there was some sort of cooking show. I forgot which, I think it was with uh, Jamie Oliver. And I woke up around lunchtime, and uh, turn on the TV and just to see what was on and maybe <laughs> find something that relaxes me and I, I tuned in there and I, <laughs> I got pretty darn hungry every time uh, <laughs> it was just that it's not much of a story really but it was one of those things that I don't know it kind of got me interested in cooking I'm not that bad at it I only do it pretty rarely. It's one of those uh, things you plan each year. You think you cook more and then you end up forgetting about it. 
even buy things sometimes. You buy ingredients and everything and end up forgetting about them. So most of them turn bad anyway. And you think, hey, I should cook more. And then you buy ingredients again and they turn bad again. <coughs> It's a pretty awful circle. <coughs> okay, we should also place that um, bird cage. Now that we have it, uh, that's an indoor. Yeah, it's an indoor thing. So let's put it right in here. I don't know if it blocks those paths. I feel silly putting it into those paths. So I'll, I'll just place it here. And one in the dining room. One bird cage for the dining room coming up. There we go. Okay. So that last one is going to uh, be for that hero once we finish this room. And now that we have this bridge done, we should do something pretty important. We shall care about security. But let's build some fences here. Uh, maybe those. I think those would be a pretty awful choice. Although we do have a lot of bones. But I don't want to make a safety thing out of bones. It feels kind of ironic. So, uh, while I consider what we're going to use as walls, um, Although I'm heavily leaning towards simple fencing. Maybe that. Yeah, we'll take that. A simple wooden wall. That should do. Security, everyone. <sighs> I think we'll need more cooks and bakers now. So uh, if we ever get another wave of migrants, I will probably just... actually more farmers, so I'll probably slap them all into farming <laughs> and cooking. No doubt about that. There will be a lot of cooks. Because... I know it's said that too many cooks uh, spoil the food, but... there is so much food that everyone can cook something on his own. Which means... no food will be spoiled? I don't know. <coughs> also, uh, feel free to leave a comment if you uh, if you cook. Maybe leave me a cooking story or something. Uh, maybe your first time cooking, what went wrong? I remember my first time was uh, pretty bad. I tried to make pancakes and a lot of things went wrong. It started with me forgetting... I'm not sure what I was forgetting. It was one pretty important ingredient I was uh, just completely ignoring and... Uh, the result wasn't that impressive. <laughs> let's, just place it, let's just say it like that. The result wasn't impressive. It was far from impressive. It didn't even look very edible. It was... Not what I would consider a taste epiphany, but it was um, it was surprisingly edible. It didn't even taste that bad. It just looked bad, very bad. Uh, but I got better at it. So uh, I should make pancakes again at some point. It's fine. I usually do that. Uh, throwing them into the air and uh, turning them over that way thing. Uh, it's kind of fun once you get a hang for it. Uh, I tried that the first time when I, after I moved out from home to study because um, I kind of didn't want to do it at my mother's uh, oven. Mostly because I was quite sure I would mess it up and uh, it would be uh, quite a terrible mess on the oven. And after I tried it at ho um, in my own apartment for the first time, I realized that I was completely right about that. 
it was quite a mess and I spent about two hours cleaning my oven. <laughs> it was fun though. And uh, the pancakes were awesome. They really were. I'm not exaggerating here. And I eventually got the hang of uh, tossing and turning them. So it was worth it. At least I tend to believe it was worth it. Anyway, that's uh, my cooking story for the day. Uh, also the video for this episode. We uh, just hit 15 minutes and something. And uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment about your cooking experiences, if you had any. Um, maybe share your favorite recipes. I don't know, I usually cook without. Although cooking for a student often means just seeing what's in the fridge and uh, tossing that together somehow hoping that it will end up being something tasty. That's a good plan. It usually works surprisingly well. Uh, <laughs> you do get a hang for what tastes well and what doesn't taste well combined with other things. And um, yeah, you actually learn cooking that way. I mean, you could always just uh, do it the easy way and ask your parents to teach you something, but let's face it, who would do that? Anyway, I'll see you next time. Uh, with a full array of uh, ingredients, almost. Uh, still have to expand that field here. I don't like how this, uh, how to place fruits on those uh, planting assigned fields and override them. So, uh, I have to place a new planting designation here and a new one over here. Somewhere. I oh, know that's the fruit over there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cut the video here, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.